Welcome to the second episode of Different Aliens We Know Exist, where we delve into the existence of various extraterrestrial beings, drawing insights from declassified CIA documents, ancient texts and artifacts, spiritual mediums, legendary accounts, and first-hand encounters or experiences recorded by individuals globally. Firstly, are the Nor of Daran. They live in a binary system with six planets, a reptilian hybrid species, however, they are nonetheless a gracious, angelic-like humanoids whose features give no doubt about their ancestry. In particular, their astonishing big reptilian golden eyes. They have four genders, are vegetarians, pacifists, they love colored clothes and body paint, and their culture is based upon the creative arts. The Nor are believed to be one of the first creators of rhythmic, ethereal sound waves and frequencies that Earthlings know as music. Much of their music is created by crystal instruments and color frequencies to create a unique art affecting mind and soul. They are a very unique recently discovered race and have peaceful ties and communication with the galactic federations of worlds. Their ships have many different shapes and sizes and the Nor are reputable to be very spiritual and dislike conformity. This race has not made any contact or visited Earth also known as Terra. This extraterrestrial race has also interestingly been portrayed in the science fiction film The Fifth Element, as the character known Diva Plavalaguna, who is a famous and revered operatic performer in the galaxy, and also is the trusted contact of the Mondo Shawans who entrusted the elemental stones to her for safekeeping before their demise at the hands of Mangalore mercenaries. The Lang alien species of the sixth star system constellation, Coma Berenice, are fifth dimensional beings. This star system is composed of 10 planets, among which the Lang alien race occupy three worlds. Lang are gracious reptiloid hybrid humanoids not very tall at a height of two feet approximately. Cultivating their love for aesthetics and creativity, they wear body decorations such as blue skin pigments, feathers, beads, shiny trinkets and other accessories for artistic purposes and tribal recognition. The few clothes they wear are, in general, very colorful attributions and merits. Nature is essential to their lives and Lang are in total symbiosis with their environment, physically and spiritually. They hunt and eat other creatures, surprisingly, but in all respects of the cycles of life, which they consider part of their sacred beliefs. Although this culture gives a primitive impression, it is very misleading because their technology is quite advanced, notably in medicine and space travels, where they have integrated life in the Pleiades and new Lyra colonies. Lang visitors were among the earliest aliens to discover Earth, and they are still remembered in ancient legends and myths as fairies and elves or mysterious little people. They never abducted humans, and they rescued a very large number of people from the reptilians. The Akara of M104 galaxy system, the mantis insectoid race who have green, white, and black skin tones. These beings, as it occurs of course for everyone, have their own ethical mindset, but in their case, what is noticeable is the absence of notions such as bad or good their ethics code is rather based upon what is useful and logical and what is not. Feelings and emotions in this species are very different from humanoid species. This is the main reason why these peaceful beings will take part willingly in the Orion Empire's hybridization programs, which are violating basic cosmic rights according to the Galactic Federation criteria, but not for the Akara. Their origin is what you call the Sombrero Galaxy, M104, 28 million light-years away from Earth. Based on matriarchal hive-structured society, these insectoid beings exist from densities 3 up to 9 feet with female mantis being the tallest. They look like the imported praying mantis on Earth near East Asia. They are an insectoid species but stand and walk upright. The head is V-shaped with huge black fasted eyes and sets of little black appendixes serve as fingers. They communicate telepathically and are masters of science of vibrational frequency and sonic technologies, making them prized scientists hunted and enslaved by the Orion Reptilian Alliance who abduct humans for various and unknown reasons. 
Next extraterrestrial species is the Gnomopo of Negumak planet in the Antarian system. They name themselves after their homeworld, but the original name of their race is Gnomopo, one of the oldest known races that still lives in a predatorial existence. And these predators can travel interdimensional, tall, wide and large, looking insectoid beings with a poisonous tail. They are not humanoid based, and their genetic composition is, to our knowledge, neither reptile, gray, or anything else living in this galaxy. Negumak Nomopo are unique. They are androgynous and reproduce by laying giant eggs. And then they fertilize them once the eggs have reached a certain level of maturity. They are monstrous warriors and terrorize everyone, even the Draco Reptilian Empire. They are highly feared in all galaxies and are not a part of the Galactic Federation of Worlds. Negumak have the power to wipe out the reptilian race from existence and the Federation of Worlds is trying to figure out how to win their alliance till this day. Their ships are made of a dark, glossy metal and of very elaborate shapes. Negumak are interestingly shown many science fiction films such as Star Wars and Star Trek and their size can be up to a whopping 40 feet in height. They have performed abductions on various planets including Earth. All that is known is that they use mind control very skillfully and release the captives afterward. The awareness of their existence was discovered by multiple Earth's governments back in 1985 through 1989. The Nor, who are a peaceful grey, fair-skinned Pleiadian type of race, originate from the fifth planet Tar. Nori are of very tall size and a strong musculature. They have blue-green or clear grey eyes, blonde to reddish hair, and a fair, very sensitive skin. This sensitivity is due to the composition and radiations of their dwarf star, Mana. Ultra-sensitivity, also shared with the other light, fair-skinned race, living on the fourth planet, the Ahil, which technologically advanced satellites that have blocked unnecessary sun exposure for 70 million years. The Nuri were one of the first explorers of Pleiadeans who actually have visited and seeded on Earth with groups known as the Watchers and the Igigi. Many descendants of the Nuri, adapted to the conditions of their world near Vega, evolved to have red hair. This race of Nuri also visited Earth with the Anunnaki Atlantean civilization and were remembered as the giant red-haired legendary people and also some could possibly be the some of the gods of the Nordic Vikings the Andromedians of the Andromedan constellation. They are a Lyran colony who left to Vega to settle in the Zenitean system, Andromeda constellation. This binary star system is also named Tetawin and has four planets in orbit plus three planetoids. The Xenai are an extremely spiritual race, equivalent to the Ohari Arcturians and sometimes mistaken for them. They are humanoids with blue or purple skin for males and females. Females can have golden skin and golden hair. Their origin goes back to the Tal Lirans of the Man System, who fled the war and settled in the Vega System. It is there that their physical features evolved to a light and dark blue skin color. In a second time, due to overpopulation on their planet Adara, a group have decided to migrate to form a new colony. As well as the Zygons, the Xenae adapted their genome to the atmospheric conditions and components of their new planet, as Lirans know so well how to do these tasks. They can live up to 1,800 years. The Xenae Andromedan society is based on a very ancient warrior-like structure, which they adapted into a society of spiritual warriors. Xenae will fight for peace and defend the rights of universal justice, mainly working on rebalancing frequency fields. Their higher caste of sages can reach up to the twelfth density, and their life purpose is principally based around learning, as Xenae nourish a passion for science. The Xenatean Alliance is now interacting with the higher consciousnesses of Earth and sending envoys known as star seeds to help further raise the frequency alongside the Galactic Federation. Their ships are made of etheric glass and they use plasmic propulsion when in a denser atmosphere. Their vessels are often diamond-shaped or sometimes crystalline geometrical structures. 
Their cities and landscapes are advanced with greenhouse nature surroundings, with beautiful crystal and glass houses, with vast gardens and sophisticated flying celestial vehicles, roadways. The Giansa Reptilians world is Typhon Sigma Draconis. The Giansa Reptilians measure four to five feet tall, elongated face, a tail, and yellowish to green lizard skin. When on Earth, they often wear dark hooded robes or cloaks, camouflaging their saurian features. These are also extremely dangerous and hateful towards humans and lesser ranking reptiloids such as greys. And like all other branches of the serpent race, they utilize black witchcraft, sorcery, and other forms of mind control against their enemies. They appear to be dimension hopping sorcerers or priest class among the reptilian Draco species. They are a kind of energy vampires who feed off human emotions and life essence, sucking up the energy needed to nourish their auric power, but also to trap and enslave humans by their vices and weaknesses, blocking their spiritual growth and chakras, dragging their souls and energy back down into lower planes of existence. They love to anchor into the third dimensional plane. This species natural agenda is to conquer, assimilate and consume. This particular reptiloid race is affiliated largely with your Earth in a group you call the Illuminati, or Elites. Gripping souls of the Earthlings by performing dark magical rituals involving contacts with the realms of lower dimensional demons, ripping holes in the fabric of space-time between their and your dimensional planes. For the reason that these creatures feed off of the gloom of the human collective. Any resistance involving shining your own light and healing your wounds with the human power level of Christ consciousness is a celestial weapon and protection towards them. Next are the Katai, who are a Tal Lyran colony from Vega that established on a planet in Sirius A, which is a bright blue star part of the binary star system. Planet Kashta, meaning born from the brilliant star with multiple dwarf suns. Their environment is mostly water and desert lands, much like the desert Sahara with long rivers flowing. They are mostly peaceful and benevolent humanoids, mainly dark skin with shades of orange, red and brown. Due to the adaptation of hard sun exposure over 8 million years, the Katai have more interest in arts and spiritual development than in diplomacy and conquests, which is a reason why they didn't join the Ashtar Collective. They terraformed Kashta with Lyran technology using sound and etheric geometry to make the planet more suitable. The Katai's planet is 8.6 thousand light years away from Earth. They are members of the Galactic Federation of Worlds, but no longer engage in wars. Next are the Maitra Megope of the Andromedan Galaxy, who have a very dark and tyrannous reputation right next to the Chiakaha reptilian race. They have been reported by the GFW as bioengineered hostile predators and galactic colonizers that are believed to be created by an unknown maleficent entity. They are at similar heights to earthlings and have long shaped faces, elongated skulls, long slim necks, and all carry a very mean and angry expression on their face. It is believed their lifespan is 100,000 years. Their motivation has always been rage, hate, and assimilation to all races of being. Their ships are large, dark, and discoidal, with a circular row of lights plus a large aperture underneath. And their insignia is a black inverted triangle on three lines and red background. They have been visiting planet Earth since before the two last glaciations and tried to colonize it at many occasions, but were always interfered by either the Chiakahar, the Anunnaki, and later, the Galactic Federation of Worlds. They have colonized near 143 planets near the Milky Way galaxy. Abductions of humans are carried out openly by them, either for their own interest or slave trade with the reptilians. The Maitre have been involved in several tragedies throughout human history. Some of the worst plagues were inflicted by them with the knowledge and agreement of the reptilians who want the human population to never go over 8 billion. The Tal Shia from the planet Talihara are the outcast Pleiadian race of Jeha. Just because group is labeled Pleiadian does not mean they are here to help you or are always good, which is a common issue with Earthlings. 
they live on the orbit of the star Alcyone, where they trooped to build their own little from there. A thing was quasi impossible regarding to the overpowering threat of the Orion and Chiakaha empires. By opposition to their brother Tigatans, they did not join the Galatic Federation and have instead allied with the Ashtar and Altair collectives, who are a group of Pleiadians that work with the reptilian Orion Empire. They are involved with many misdeeds on Erath and other Man Ray systems. They further upset the Galactic Federation of Worlds with giving a world to a Orion Empire presence. This race only wants to dominate and conquer. The next alien species is a species of the Man System. Their homeworld is the third planet of the Man System, the sister race of the Ahel Pleiadians, known as the Tal species, who are a multiracial civilization with light-skinned, dark-skinned, brown-skinned, orange-green and blue man species with several genders, with large diversity in genetics from interbreeding, resulting in varieties of skin, eyes and hair colors, much like Earth with large mixtures of gray, Pleiadian reptiloid and Lyran feline ancestry. They are pacifist and spiritual people with fifth dimensional technology, which many would consider magic, with a strict code of ethics, which they respect with such personal involvement that they may often mistaken for cold and emotionless. It is on their planet, Omen Kera, that sieged the government for the Man Star system. It was organized in a hierarchical system of monarchy presiding above a council of 25, then an assembly of 300 senators. The Tal culture and education is similar to the Ahel traditions, although the spirituality diverges. The Tal practice an ascetic spirituality based on the idea that the body is obstacle to the elevation of the spirit. Contrarily to the Ahel Pleiadians, who use it as a tool to connect to higher realms of consciousness. During the Lyran Wars, the Tal government skillfully managed to pass an agreement with the Siakahar invaders to them, saving their culture and escorting the royal Lirantal family to safe passage to the near star system Vega. They are a part of the GFW and seven colony cities in Pleiades and Sirius star system, and their spaceships are small and have many different shapes depending on the colonies. The Dorsi originate from Cassiopeia constellation, where have two home planets in two close by star systems, Otora and Endelamen Nyada. With a maximum height of 5.3 feet, Dorsey are small greys with a batrachian face and big dark eyes. They are a highly advanced pacifist civilization, part of the Galactic Federation of Worlds. Their race is 4 billion years old. They have visited at least 250 times, and although they do not want to get involved in any of the ongoing wars, Dorsey are nonetheless opportunistic. They eat each other alien races as well as humans, and hunting is an activity they treasure. They come indeed to Terra for hunting purposes, and this is not tolerated by the Galactic Federation of Worlds, which has regular problems with them. Stay away from Dorsey. They are predators. Dorsey ships are flat, discoidal, and metallic white. They were at the origin of an unfortunate accident that impacted Earth ominously, the Tunguska explosion in 1908. For five days and four nights, the Maitre had been fighting the Dorsey over a shipment of slaves the Dorsey fearlessly stole from them, the conflict lasting and increasing in violence. The GFW intervened, however, the Maitre are not easily negotiate with. A Pleiadian cargo ship of Ahel that was transporting crystal to Alpha Centauri was warned of the Dorsey and Maitre. The Maitre then attacked and shot down the Pleiadian cargo ship along with the Dorsey ship. This was the actual cause of the Tunguska explosion in 1908 and the reminder that you don't just steal to the Maitre. If you like this episode, please like, share and subscribe to Astral Legends for a third episode part of different alien species that we know exist. And also for more ancient cosmic mysteries and legends. May the eternal light forever guide your path. See you on the next episode.